and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little outfits of the week video. Now that I am allowed out of my home and I'm able to dress myself, like physically allowed to dress myself, oh, it's been exactly that. Just a breath of fresh air. I feel me again. I know it's so silly and ridiculous, but like fashion just feeds me, feeds my soul. I've had some time to actually like feel out my outfits and wear things that make me happy and get dressed for myself every day and not just wear like sweatpants and a tank top because <laughs> a tank top was really the only thing I could get up here and like not put on my body. So I have gone out a couple of times and there are a few kind of like repeat outfits that I've been seeing that I've been wearing um, often and that are just comfortable and very fall appropriate. The weather is very much in that transition state in Toronto where you're standing in the sun and you are like baking and then you kind of switch over to the shade and you're freezing all of a sudden. So it's all about easy breezy pieces that you can layer on top of one another that will keep you warm but you can kind of peel off as soon as you stand in the sun or sit in the sun and you start to sweat. This isn't a classic outfits of the week as in real time but these are all of the outfits that I've pretty much only been wearing as of late. I thought that I would talk you through how I think about getting dressed in the fall or in general, the kind of like steps that I go through when putting an outfit together, which I thought would be helpful for you if you ever struggle with putting outfits together. So let's get started. One thing that I always put on first before I even really put on an outfit or kind of my finishing touches depends in what order I put it on, um, is all of my jewelry. So I've talked about this before. I always have a gold hoop on. I always have some sort of chain situation I like to layer, but my body's been a little bit weird about jewelry. So one necklace is about all my skin can handle. It's very tingly and um, odd feeling since having surgery and being completely numb. It's just a whole thing. So one necklace is good at the moment and then all of my rings that I like to wear it just adds that sort of personal style touch to your look jewelry is super personal as much as you buy like a trendy piece the way that you wear it on what finger and how you pair it with your other jewelry is just a really interesting personal style touch that I really love I love to look at people's jewelry and how they kind of put things together so never forget the jewels I know they say not to wear white after Labor Day but that is just such an ancient thing to say it is 2020 come on now so I throw on my white jeans these are the mom jeans the mom jeans are the girlfriend jeans from Topshop Petite and they are perfect like they just fit so well give a good bum situation and I really like that they're more of an off-white, which is something that I like for fall. It's not super stark white. It's very much an off kind of creamy, latte like white, which I think just gives that like richer kind of vibe for fall when we're leaning towards those darker, richer colors. So it pairs really well with something like a forest green, like this shirt. These jeans also have this super nice detail stitching. It's like a coppery light brownie gold type of stitching which I really love I think it just adds another little like style element to the look I love a waffle knit shirt I can't get enough of them they're just so cozy for one thing and I think they add again another texture to the look if you're wearing like a very flat look waffle knits give a nice raised texture and then I have been pairing it with this plaid oh so fall jacket in this such a beautiful like marigold and orange and brown a little bit of like it kind of looks like greeny and I really love this look I love all of the textures together I like that the white kind of picks up the lighter creamy white stripes going through this plaid and then to pull the look together and kind of like add a chicer element and just another like rich texture with the gold hardware and suede leather mix shoes kind of just pulls the look together it feels a little bit less casual now that I have these leather flats on and they get that like sort of chic British kind of 
style to it, which I love. I just feel really comfortable in this. I would go to a pumpkin patch in this look, even though I am wearing white, that would be scary. This would be a great look to wear to brunch, or if you have a really casual office, I would honestly wear this to the office and maybe pop like a blazer underneath and then wear your coat, just so you could have a blazer on in the office and you wouldn't look too, too casual. Yeah, this is one of the looks I've been wearing this week. And we're gonna do a vote at the end, one out of five what was your favorite look so keep this in mind oh the shirt is buzzing on camera Woo, stripes are hilarious i don't know if it'll look like that to you but it is like it almost looks like it's moving one of my favorite items to bust out when it gets chilly is the breton striped top very french and i love French style as we've talked about before and I really like this one from Joe Fresh I've had it for years but I'm pretty sure they remake their like basic tops every single year it's just very thick it's super soft and comfortable cotton and I just feel like it hugs my body which is kind of what I want in a base layer like this that I'm gonna layer with because it uh, hugs the skin and then the wind doesn't go up I feel like it's a very Canadian thing to think about but having just items that are very like close to your skin help you feel a lot warmer when it's colder outside. On top of that I am going to pair <laughs> I'm so awkward this denim shacket that is from The Gap. I don't know if they have this particular one but I will link something similar in the description box below but I love the way that this looks together. I think it's just super casual and I love mixing different colored denims. I think it's so interesting and makes for just a really cool kind of look, something that's not very typical. And then again, I'm going to pair this with those flats for some added texture, kind of just a little bit more of a hold together, casualness of the look. And the gold hardware plays with all the gold that I'm wearing for jewelry, which I really love. And the gold kind of picks up that gold stitching that I mentioned in the jeans. I don't think it's gold, it's probably brown, but with the gold pieces on the hardware and everything, it makes it kind of pop, which is really nice. You could do a tuck if you want. If you want to show off a little bit more of the denim, you can go ahead and do that. But I actually prefer this look with the shirt down, which is not very me, but just kind of bunching it up and having it just kind of lay naturally is kind of a nice change from doing the old French tuck kind of look that we all do and I am guilty of doing to every single shirt every single day. A nice little change. I think without this shacket situation, this is an extremely French look. All I really need is a beret. Et voila! <laughs> I am ready! All I need is a baguette. And I'm Emily in Paris. <laughs> okay, similar to that white denim look, I paired this top with just a classic black pair of denim. These are from the Denim Forum at Aritzia. I believe it's like their denim line. Don't hold me to that. But I love these jeans. I would say they I would go down a size in them. I think they're like the Yoki, Yoki? I don't know, something like that style. And I love them. They are perfect. They are my favorite denim. They're super stretchy, um, but they don't lose their shape whatsoever. I've owned these for a year and the knees have not blown out considering how stretchy they are, which blows my mind. So if you're looking for a good pair of denim, I would definitely try the Denim Forum by Aritzia. I'm going to pair this with socks and my low cut docks which I love and have been wearing so much this fall season so far and I've rolled up the denim a little bit um they're a little bit long of course I am 5'2 for being 5'2 I if I was tall I don't know if I would consider these jeans because they don't go too much further than like my ankle, so I find that a little bit odd. Maybe they have a longer length, but I would put that into consideration if you're taller. I love the way that the sock pokes out with the low dock and the rolled up denim. It's just super, again, like very British London style. Something that I really like to do. It's a look that I enjoy to emulate. 
And then I also paired this look with this jacket. I really like all the dark, rich colors together for fall. And I love the like brown, burnt orange with the black. I think as much as it pops with the white, it pops just as much with like a black denim. And again, it's a lot of different textures. You have the rubber sole, leather shoe, denim, a little cotton sock, the waffle shirt, and the scratchy wool plaid print just gives it a little bit of life um, and this has been like one of my favorite looks so far that I've created this fall season. If you know me you know that denim on denim is like a go-to just my comfort zone. I just love denim on denim so much. It's my favorite combo. I think it's just so interesting and it's super fun and although it seems very like much thought it's just there's no contemplating anything. I think people take putting denim on denim a little bit too seriously when trying to pair denim. I think you can do obviously like the other outfit, white denim with the blue top. You can do black denim with a blue top like this. You can do black denim with a white. You don't have to mix like perfect shades of denim together. I really like this combo together with the dark denim and it kind of picks up a little bit on the dip dye of the jacket and then the light denim on top. I think it's just really interesting and super cool and kind of edgy but it's so effortless and I'm like beyond comfortable I could just live in this outfit it feels like pajamas to me and then I paired it with these little mules that are kind of woven it's very like 70s a little bit like hippie-ish kind of look which is something that again I love I'm either doing like British style trying to be French or full on 70s. It's kind of where my, my zones are at and then a little dash of whatever I'm feeling in the moment. This is technically like a jacket so I would wear it as a top or a jacket or I would pair another jacket on top which I think would make for an interesting layer and more texture. Of course texture is where it's at and you can get away with these shoes when it's like not super freezing outside which I like to push it to the limit which is why I own a lot of mules because I like to push fall to its last drop of warmth because I am a summer baby and that's how I feel about that again for the sake of my body I'm not gonna put the jacket on but you get the idea this is picked up by the shoe which I think is really interesting and it's another layer I'm super warm this way and I think it just looks super chic and super cool. I don't know, it's gonna be really difficult to pick a favorite outfit, to be honest. Like, everything I wear is my dang favorite, so I don't know how you guys are gonna pick. Also with this look, like, I wouldn't mind, I'm just looking over here and I have a bunch of hats on the wall, and I wouldn't mind putting a hat on, so I'm gonna attempt that. I think if you are a hat person, this hat is super cool. My boyfriend got this in Peru, so sorry you can't buy it, but Lack of Colors has like the nicest hats and they would totally have a hat just like this. Um, but this like nice blue color and the brown kind of mixes in with what's happening here. I don't really think I'm ever too matchy-matchy. I'm never really worried about what I'm matching with when it comes to dressing. I just don't like being super matchy-matchy, but when it's in a vibe like this, it doesn't look like I'm trying too hard to like match everything together. If I was in like Palm Springs I feel like this would be such a vibe. And then add like a small little suede bag. It's another texture to add in. I don't have suede going on at all yet so this is a nice little addition to the look. <laughs> I sneeze really funny because of my collarbone. I'm really digging this outfit. I did not wear it like this when I went out but I would. Why not, right? Okay, so my last look is, again, to mention how I am hanging on to that last little bit of summer that possibly exists, is to push the summer dress to its limit of wear. What is happening here? Tuck the little tassels in, because I don't really want them to be out. I love this dress. This was such a good Target purchase couple of years ago. I like to dress this dress down with a pair of Converse. I just think that that gives it a super like casual element. Um, this dress, I mean not that it is fancy per se, but it does have like a little bit more of a, it can be very dressy, like I've worn it to a wedding as well. It's just worn it on the weekends. I just really like that sort of like, although I said I don't 
really care about matchy matchiness, but I do like this matchiness of the black and white Converse with the gingham. I think it's just kind of fun to play with that color palette. And Toronto has had some oddly warm days, which is a very normal thing for fall here. Like this week has been quite cold and a little bit rainy. And then on Saturday, it's supposed to be 24 degrees, which makes no sense. So this would be an appropriate outfit for this coming Saturday. And we've had some warm days past just a few weeks, which is why this outfit is a go-to for me. I like this dress a lot because it just gives me such like prairie girl vibes. I really love the tiered situation going on. And I like the way the tiers look with this oversized denim jacket. I think that that's just really fun. And then a new favorite hairstyle of mine, due to the fact that I wasn't able to put my hair up ever <laughs> with this whole arm situation, is a claw clip. So if I were to be wearing this out and about, you know, grocery shopping or running errands, then I'd throw my hair in a little claw. So I do a twist, a bun, And then claw. And like that little pokey outy hair. And that's kind of been like my go to hairstyle lately. And it was kind of like a pleasant inconvenience, I guess you could say. And now apparently this is like the hairstyle of the moment. This very 90s claw clip middle part fritzy hair kind of thing so that's cool I was in style unintentionally and again it's another look with like a bunch of textures just like a sneaker very casual vibe this gingham which has like a little bit of like a texture to it I don't even know what to call that but it's a little bit rough um, although it's very soft and then throwing on an oversized denim jacket it gives this kind of I mean this dress has like a very like almost, I want to say like Victorian-esque neckline because it has that high neckline with the ruffle and this nice tiered situation and again could be like a super put together dress for like a wedding or something and then pairing it down with a denim jacket that is oversized and billowy and a pair of sneakers is just definitely a fave vibe of mine and a look that I really like. I would also put like a ball cap on, I think that could be a cool element. Um, yeah, anything really. And then throw this little bag on and out you go. And then I would just have a whole bunch of tote bags somehow stuffed in here for grocery shopping. I would wear this to the grocery store, would you? <laughs> okay. Well, that is the video. That was my outfits of the week video. Those are very much looks that I have been wearing as of late. Now that I can finally dress myself, it's been so rewarding. <laughs> so crazy when you lose your independence, how... When you get it back you just feel so good and i really just wanted to walk you through how i choose outfits and why i choose certain pieces i thought that that would be a little bit more interesting than just like here's an outfit because i want to offer you a little bit more on this channel a little bit more advice and styling tips and tricks so hopefully that was helpful for you if you have any questions and if you ever want to book a virtual styling session you can always email me down below let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite, either one, two, three, four, or five. I literally cannot pick, but I would have to say it's a hard tie for me with that all denim look because that just is so true to my heart. And like this one, I really like the dress and the sneaker and the jean jacket combo. Those are really my favorite top looks and a little bit different, a little bit extra than just like jeans and a tee. Yeah, let me know what your favorite was down in the comments below. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It is free, so why not? And I will see you guys in the next video. Wear a mask, stay safe, bye!